What are you? Get it open. On it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, Christ. Move in. One of the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. With all the other flying animals. Keep doing this. I have to. <laughs> no one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed, the city is safer now. But it's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs until you're shot out of the sky. Criminals in this city, <laughs> they need something to fear. <laughs> Shit! Go! Whatever got in, don't let it get out. Back, circle up! I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes, 
You need a monster. Come on! Come on! Come on! Mother teach you to knock. Behind you, big boy. Heyday. Intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> Without a scratch. So far. That doesn't belong to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in Arkham. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Then let's put you in a cage. Bring it, Bat. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Come on. 
now? Jesus! Got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Why go to all that trouble for this? Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! I said don't shoot! No! Wait! I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. <laughs> Don't struggle or you'll fall. Oh, but that's what you crave. The struggle. I know men like you. Bye, Bat. <laughs> Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. And even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together, we will change Gotham. <laughs> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle, so the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. 
Relax, it was important. Not more than this. I know you despise these things, and truth be told, I do too. What, a chance to show off your teeth and talk about yourself to a room full of money? Say it ain't so. It's called playing the game, Bruce. And tonight, if you hadn't noticed, I'm playing for City Hall. No one came here tonight to see me. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This'll help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, a new face for Gotham, hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands, hmm? Come on. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband... Voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. Well, thank you. But we're all here tonight because we want to make a difference. And that's what it's going to take. Every single one of us. Not just me, not just Mr. Dent. Everyone. Right, right. Of course. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman, or whatever it's called. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, an idealist with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> and I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. Yeah, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, thank you. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Oh, well, hello. Harvey 
Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time either. No, no, it's all right. You can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Oh, Wayne. come on now. So formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Just between us? Politics bore the hell out of me. Too many words, not enough action. Didn't think you were the type to get his hands dirty. Oh, you'd be surprised. Mr. Wayne, you've... you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? Yeah, it looks like... Oh, this? No, that's nothing, it's just, uh... Cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding, kidding. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham, for all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. Falcone requested to speak with you directly. Maybe you can change your mind. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce? Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk-up, sky-high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. Oh, man, all flash, no class. Carmine Falcone, thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wayne. I know who you are. The guy is gonna sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we'll all be more comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. Uh, you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. At... Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. We talk alone. Just you and me. Sorry, Harvey. Yeah, I'll, uh... I'll get a drink or something. Christ! Yeah, well, that's just like Harvey, huh? Wants to make sure the rules are followed. But, in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, chaps my face with words. Unlike most people I've met, Harvey actually has integrity. He's trying to make Gotham a better place. So am I. So are you. Hey, we all carry this city on our broken backs. Might lighten the load if we do so together. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. 
I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move. And I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Oh, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. It's me. See what she was really after. Allegations that Dent may have actually been involved in the break-in. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these accusations hold any water with the voters? Or will it be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians? And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given up trying to combat the blaze at the Otisburg Processing Center, owned by Ace Chemical. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at it. 
They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment if you happen to breathe in any of that tar black smoke. And one mobster's murder caused quite a headache for commuters this morning. The body of Falcone family capo Louis Pistachio Garmoni was found hanging off the side of the 4th Street Bridge sometime just before dawn, causing traffic to back up for miles as the cops cut him down. Random stabbings are the latest headache for the riders of Gotham's overcrowded Skyrail cars to contend with. Gotham police are investigating multiple cases of riders receiving abdominal wounds from an ice pick or other pointed weapon while pressed into the tight quarters with fellow passengers. A few have died, while most have been admitted to Gotham General in critical condition. The police don't have any suspects at the time. Two more patients have gone missing from Arkham Asylum, bringing the total number of escapees from the half-prison, half-mental hospital to 15 this year. Only three have been caught to date, but all the escapees highlight the rough, some would say inhumane conditions at the aging asylum. The latest, 44-year-old twin brother and sister Leon and Valerie Muldoon, should be considered dangerous if found. Authorities are asking that you do not approach and call police immediately. Mayor Hill's Gotham Beautiful Act takes effect today, making it possible for landlords to evict tenants immediately and without cause. The new law was created in order to allow Gotham City's biggest property owners greater ability to modify and improve the city's aging buildings, some of which have been occupied by families for decades. So if you come home from work tonight and find all your stuff on the street, don't worry. It probably isn't anything you did wrong. And if you can believe it, now you can't even trust the valets. More on this after the break. Mayor Hill says he's tough on crime, but since his election, violence in Gotham has skyrocketed. And when he was presented with legislation that would have dismantled organized crime in the city, he vetoed it, killing Gotham's chance for a safer future. Maybe that's because the rumors of Hill's connections to some of Gotham's most notorious mafia families are true. We don't need another gangster running the city. We need a crime-fighting hero. With over 200 successful convictions, District Attorney Harvey Dent just might be the hero Gotham needs. But he can't save our city alone. He needs your help. He believes that together we can make a dent in Gotham's crime. But it starts with you. Vote for Harvey Dent and elect a real crime fighter to Gotham's mayoral seat. The back computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. Talk about dirty politics. Does Hill's campaign really think these nearly fell off a building for this? Be perceived as a desperate attempt from a flailing campaign to take down one of Gotham's most promising young politicians. Find out what was so important. Still no word on what started the fire, but whatever the <sighs> encrypted. Wayne Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here. In a dark, damp cave. In front of a computer. I'm more at home here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could be.
could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs, everything flows through that port. Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, so. Al. Yeah, the same couldn't be said for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. Yeah, thanks for the interruption. <laughs> and it wasn't for you, Bruce. I was worried I might drink all my good scotch. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Back when it still had one? It can again, Bruce. Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? Never seen her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. No, I already checked the codex. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. No, whenever Harvey calls. That guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted, then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead argument, but... No one's gonna figure it out now, trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay. I, I know you're only looking out for me. If we make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Ah, old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. I thought I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, however, took that role more literally than you. Dishonorable discharge, illegal boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stents? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Unfortunately, you are. Oswald claimed he only wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break-in? This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will.
Thank you, sir. you, but no Oz. Hey. Beat it. isn't what it used to be. Watch Wallet Cash. But this goes through you. Hey, you heard him, man. What the hell are you waiting for? You're making a mistake. You already made one coming here. The next one kills you! End him! Gentlemen! Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp! You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, the uh, moment! Come here! Like you don't belong. This is my park! Mine! You hear that? <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh. Eh, good as new. That was the right little scrap, eh? Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Well, thanks for the backup. I yanked you away from your bloody ivory tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh, yeah, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. This park used to mean something. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. Oh, Mom and Dad, they put so much work in here. Well, those were better days. That they were, yeah. Thought we'd grow up to be kings, I did. Both of us. <sighs> this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. There's nothing left, Bruce. I know. Alfred told me. <sighs> it's funny, huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round the world vacations, unlimited potential. Now all I got is this park. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. 
Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although, I was surprised to see Carmine Falcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... Oh, wish I could have punched that grin into the back of his throat. Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. I never want to see his face again. On that, we can agree in earnest. Falcone made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. I'm not your enemy, Lars. That remains to be seen, don't it? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. Which is why I'm warning you. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. Mr. Wayne, over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Good morning, everyone. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> We didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. <sighs> now, we're here about Arkham Asylum. Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. And the rate of death and suicide inside the asylum itself is truly terrifying. And worse still, those who do get out, or God forbid, escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today, with a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility, one that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Now, Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. <sighs> you know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, my parents paid the ultimate cost defending me from a man 
who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we create a new face for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm uh, sure you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vale. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? I think Arkham has only done harm to Gotham. It's made criminals more unstable, put our citizens in jeopardy. We can do better. All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne, uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. You even shook his hand. Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Anyone else have a question? Please, keep your questions on topic, people. We're here about the hospital, remember? Uh, but Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father. Thomas Wayne. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Care to comment? I don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, oh, Mr. Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? What aren't you telling us? Does the mob sign Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What aren't you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control's my territory. We'll talk later. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep this civilized. Bruce, I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. I understand. You're just doing your job, Lieutenant. Trying to? It's hard to be a cop in this city. Every battle's uphill, in the rain, with skates on. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. Who authorized this? I know you and the DA are buddy-buddy, but this one came from the top. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition... disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. 
Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. Stay back! Take whatever you want! You... you don't have to do this. I didn't mean to interrupt, but... This is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not gonna have any for a while. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. I can dig up whatever you need to fight this. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet, and it's all hearsay flimsy sources, there isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family, after me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now, and stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. On the record, then. Whenever you're ready. The Wayne family has always been a cornerstone of Gotham. We have never had and never will have connections to organized crime. That's exactly what the people of Gotham need to hear. You're gonna beat this, Bruce. The Waynes always come out on top. Goodbye, Miss Rail. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family... We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this, on the anniversary of your parents... It's not a coincidence. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? That press conference turned into a bloodbath. Yeah, someone's coming after me. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. 
Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this, I swear. Hill totally blindsided me on this one. God damn it. He has no right to issue search warrants without my okay. <sighs> okay, I, I believe you, Harvey. Mayor Hill's trying to screw us both over with this move. And then he's made two enemies. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? That just doesn't make sense. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Ah, oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, he would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. You should probably distance yourself from me. What? No, no, I can't do that. Well, you may have to. Don't say that. You... There you are. Hey, you. Sorry. I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Just election nonsense. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, really? That's interesting. What was your name again? It's Selena. Selena Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her around Gotham, introducing her to people. You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? It's okay. Money doesn't buy manners, right? I was mugged. I'm just angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Well, that's terrible. Did they catch the guy? Not yet. But if they don't, I will. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. My hope not. These were important materials. Ooh. Sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Ah. Stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to mention, everyone in this cafe. Sorry about the black eye. It's not the first time a man's hit me. Sorry to hear that. Don't worry. I'm not going to expose you. Yet. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I don't need one. 
I do this because I can. And I thought you were on some noble crusade against crime. Silly me. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. This is awkward for me. I'm used to robbing people, not the one being robbed. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's gonna cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made your bed. No, we've made this bed. And I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. All right, you want my help? You got it. What can I do? You can give me back the drive. <laughs> Not possible. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address, now. No, give me the drive. You're just going to have to trust me. I don't do trust. I guess I'm screwed either way. My contact. He'll be expecting a cat, not a bat. When are you supposed to meet him? Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've gotta run. So soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, Bruce. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. This wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Nothing left to bury. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert, not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece back together. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall.
The canister exploded, sending shrapnel right through the container door. For once, I'm glad you arrived after the heist. Your armor wouldn't have protected you against that. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. Doesn't appear normal. The point of entry's melted. The scrap of metal is from the exploded canister. But I need to know what caused the explosion. Something was here when the explosion occurred. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. slashed, throat torn open. So, not natural causes then. This man's been badly burned, but the damage seems to originate from inside his skull. What did this?
sensors say it's an incendiary route. Phosphorus residue. This could have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. shredded this murk to pieces, barehanded. God, what would cause someone to do that? The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Hmm, canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move.
One of his snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned him down. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. A cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands. And was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. Have you located the shooter? No, but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. for a spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Hmm. Killing time. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Ray stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. Time to go to work. <laughs> My turn. <laughs> Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. No, Coney! Why did he do this? I... I ain't telling you nothing! You... you can't make me talk! You didn't do this alone. Where are the others? Long gone. You won't find them! You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break! Your bones will. True what they said about you. You're a freaking animal. Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. Mm. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. <laughs> Tell me! That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive, had the container number we needed, but she flaked. So we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container! Someone must have heard us, called the cops. We were told no witnesses! Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal them, not ask questions. No! Stop! I start here, and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! You'll never hold a gun steady again. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. These are cops. 
Get an ambulance in here. I think I need to call the coroner instead. I was wrong. I'm gonna need that ambulance too. What the hell's going on tonight, Lieutenant? That man. You're taking this too far, Bruce. You assume the persona of a bat, but you're not an animal. You nearly killed a man tonight. Your parents didn't raise you this way, and neither did I. He's still alive, isn't he? And in the hospital. <sighs> Next time, it might be the morgue. Especially now, during this preposterous attack on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wayne. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. You're a good man, Bruce. Good. Just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject, but as a friend, the burden of advice falls on me. Who my parents were? The life they led, Gotham revered them. I could never match that. You won't. You will far surpass them. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. Well, back into the fray again. Looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding... More than I could have imagined. This is a complete manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering? Falcone's been involved in everything. You see Dad's name on any of these documents? I'll run a search, but so far I don't. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He could mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good.
Vicky showed faith in me. She cares about the truth. She'll get the story out the way it needs to be told. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Vicky through the media, and Batman... By any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This is big. You drop a bomb like this, th there's gonna be fallout. That not even Falcone can survive. Why give it to me then? You don't know how much I appreciate it, but you're a Wayne. You could have given it to anyone. I need an ally in the press. After handing me something like this? I'd say you got one for life. Falcone's slippery, but this is enough to hang him out to dry. What this could do for the city, my career, I'm just wondering what the cost is gonna be. It'll be worth it. I don't know, Bruce. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. The next time my name appears in the media, God, it might be an obituary. Falcone has a way of handling reporters he doesn't like. I'll protect you, I promise. Oh, chivalrous, but unnecessary. You're not Batman. I always think, crime in the city, it's a hydra. You cut off one criminal's head- Three more appear in its place, I know. Unless we kill the beast once and for all. But who's even capable of that? If we don't act fast, that void will be filled by someone far worse. Wouldn't be the first time. Batman's a symbol of hope, and that is better than any army. If Gotham can rally around him, right now he's just a monster of the week. It's a good thing you gave this to me instead of the police. Could end up buried in some evidence locker and not on every screen in Gotham where it belongs. Public attention, that's what brings down men like Falcone. Not a bullet. Though after my story runs, he might get that too. I'll be seeing you, Bruce. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Although you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. Cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. All right. Let's find Falcone. Good point of entry.
Nothing here. The white rose. Falcone's symbol. A red rose after tonight. <laughs> Tell me another. What's the difference between the Mafia and City Council? I don't know. Aren't they the same thing? Only one of them is organized. Ooh. <laughs> You're cute. So, uh, are you alone? Not anymore, I'm not. Where's Nikki? In lockup. Again? Christ, Kimmy. What did they pinch him for now? Some hit down at the docks. Nikki? No. I didn't think he was a hatchet man. You and me both. Well, does he got an alibi? Honey, I'm always his alibi. <laughs> <laughs>